I'm going to show you how to configure your OSD. First thing you want to do is go to this right here, mwosd.com. It's going to have all your stuff. Go down here to the bottom. You'll see here some user guide and stuff like that. Go down the bottom to the downloads page. And you're going to do right here, mwosdr1.6. Click that. And that will take you to the downloads folder. You're going to download the zip file. Then wherever you save it, let's go back here a little bit. That was uh, so I saved it here to my downloads folder. So there it is. Open that up, and that's gonna have. Oops, I double clicked it. Oh, here you, you want to go to the GUI. So here you got Windows 32, 64, and Mac OS. So I'm on, I've got a Mac, and you're gonna click that. I've actually already got it open, so I will go down here, and there it is. Then connect your USB dongle to the bottom board of your Crusader. And I've got it connected, and then plug it in the USB port. I'm going to come over here, I'm going to select the S Labs. It may be different on your PC, so really you just have to figure out which COM port it is. It'll be one that shows up. Uh, first of all, one of the things you can do is you can select a different font. You can do bold, large, or the default, whatever you want there. I think you probably don't find some more online too. And then this is, so right here we're using display voltage, use flight controller main voltage. What that says is it's going to delay display what your VBAT voltage is. So that's showing up here. Uh, here, you, what you can do here is display uh, virtual uh, milliamps that you've used. It takes a little bit of tweaking, and, and I'll play with this and see what I get. But if you want to display uh, milliamps used, you can slide that box over. Use virtual sensor because there isn't a, a current sensor on the board. And then what you will adjust is this right here and that will tell you how much current is being drawn uh, so you just tweak that a little bit or you don't have to turn that on and then here here's your metric your pale what you want your units in um, I think I think these are pal cameras I'm pretty sure they are cal cameras so again you can display all this other stuff um, here's your display you can display your flight modes I don't need that because I'm always in acro. Your sensors, you can see here it's turning and off on the screen. So FM sensors, here's flight modes, they're right here. If I turn it back on, it'll show it. Oh, there you go. So they, oh, they're there, they're right there. There's your flight modes. Display gimbal, don't need that. Display Vero, don't need that. Display Barrow, don't need that. Take that all off of there. Display timer, yeah, right here. I'll take a timer. Here's your milliamps, here's your voltage. I uh, don't need a horizon bar. Some guys like the horizon bar on. Um, display sidebars, you don't need. This, this one, we don't need. Don't need this. Uh, so you don't need a GPS coordinates mostly because all that stuff's disabled as well on my bike controller so I'm not really getting anything out of it so really that's all I need on mine and then you, when you make sure when you make all these changes you hit write and it's going to write it right here right here it's showing it is writing to your um, thing. The other thing right here, this is kind of cool if you don't uh, have your, uh, you can set it up in your camera or right here. Um, I always put my name, so when I look at my goggles, I know I've got my ship. So when I race, I am Sonic Sparrow. And then it should come up on this, there we go, Sonic Sparrow. It's going to flash. Hmm. 
That's kind of annoying. I don't like that. I'll just set it in my camera. And that's all you really need to do.